I strongly believe, Mr. Speaker, that Kenya belongs to all the 42 plus tribes, Mr. Speaker. And what has disturbed me, Mr. Speaker, for the two days I've sat here, Mr. Speaker, what would happen to my community in Kisi and in Yamira if we ran our government through this theory of shareholding? Mr. Speaker, as I speak tonight, Mr. Speaker, the people of the two counties of Omogusi, Nyamira and Kisi, are victims of that theory of shareholding. That community, Mr. Speaker, called Omogusi, has got no even a single PS serving in government, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we, we speak this evening, Mr. Speaker, the Omogusi people, Mr. Speaker, have been the biggest victims of this theory of shareholding. Mr. Speaker, the Constitution that we enacted in 2010, in Article 27, Mr. Speaker, clearly states that we should not discriminate, Mr. Speaker. I hope, Mr. Speaker, when I cast my vote tonight, I'll be sending a message from the people of Nyamira, Mr. Speaker, that a government is formed for all the tribes in the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. I've agonized, Mr. Speaker, on the issues that have been brought in this motion, touching on the widow and the children of the late Governor Fonyeri, Gashagwa. And Mr. Speaker, I wondered if adverse statements and inferences have been made touching on the conduct of the deputy president against the widow of the former governor and the children of the late governor, the nephews of the deputy president. Why, Mr. Speaker, I ask as a father, why, Mr. Speaker, did the widow and the children of the late governor Gashagwa swear an affidavit to dispel all the things that have been